this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a church flyer using Envato Elements. All right, so I went to Envato Elements. I logged into my account. You have to make an account for this, and it's subscription-based. Uh, but once you log in, you have access to a lot of graphic templates. And I just typed in church flyer right here. And as you can see, there's so many different types of flyers that you can use. And these are all templates. And you can just even use them just to get ideas or inspiration. So I'm just going to scroll down and just see which one is good for my church flyer. I found one that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this church flyer right here. I'm going to download it. I download the files right here. And I want to let you know right now that I currently do not have actually the Adobe uh, software. I have Affinity. So it might transfer kind of strange. So let's see what happens. All right, so this is what it looks like once I just uploaded it to the Affinity software. So again, I do not have Adobe at the moment, but this is what it's going to look like if you use Affinity. All right, so I have the template right here. This is obviously not what I want or even want to use as it is. Some of the fonts are not working properly because it didn't transfer. However, I still like how there's an outline for it. Uh, however, what did transfer really well was like the pictures in the background. And this silhouette person right here, I'm going to probably delete that because I don't have a picture of the person. So what I'm going to do right now is actually just delete the ones that I don't want. All right, so I just took out some elements right here, and this is what I'm going to transfer over. So I'm going to copy all this. And the reason why I mean by transferring over, this is not the actual dimension I'm going to use. I'm going to use a YouTube dimension. Okay, so I have a blank canvas right here for the YouTube dimensions right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. All right, as you can see, I copied and pasted it. Now I'm just going to adjust everything accordingly. All right, so I just adjusted everything accordingly to make sure all the text and everything is in the right spot. Now I just have to plug away. This person is called Bree Keaton, so I'm just going to write her name down. So I'm just going to use this title right here, the church. And so now I'm just going to place this here for now. All right, the next thing I want to do is Doodle Studio Presents. So I'm just going to write in the church name. So I'm going to write in Genesis Upper Church. All right, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. All right, for this right top corner, I'm going to write in two days. I'm going to adjust the two day. I'm going to make sure everything's aligned. For the night of spiritual renewal, I'm just going to delete this. Okay, this looks good so far. And I'm just going to make sure to align this properly again. All right, I'm going to move this dove. I'm going to delete this because I actually don't need this. And I'm going to write the date in. So let's grab this, make it bigger. And I'm kind of liking this red right here. So I'll just leave that be. But I'm going to write in the correct dates. I'm going to change the font, make sure it's aligned in the middle. For the bottom area, I'm going to take this address sign. I'm just going to put in the website, all right? And then I'm going to make this yellow. So I'm actually going to take this font right here. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to just copy that. All right, move the doves a little bit. Make it slightly bigger. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I think the Bree Keaton could just do a little bit of more design on it. All right, so I just touched up the title a little bit right here. I just put uh, some drop shot on this. I think I made it a little bit of a glow here. And that's about it, and I just rearranged everything. 